Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Yeah, there hasn't been a video from me in God knows how long. I took a break from after the Olympiacos game because, yeah, that game was just emotionally just too much. That was a mad game. And I was planning to come back for the Arsenal versus Man City game, but that happened to be called off and there hasn't been a game since. So I've kind of, I was thinking, what the, what the heck do I upload now, but... Yeah, I've got this video. It's going to be the, well, my prediction for the team of the season, well, at this moment in time, for the Premier League. So, yeah, jumping straight into it, I think we're going to play 4-3-3, because I think that's probably the or 4 3 one I'm not sure yet. I haven't made up my mind, but I'll make up my mind as we go through this video. So, in goalkeeper for the Premier League, there's quite a few decent goalies in the league. You've got, obviously, uh, Nick Pope has the most clean sheets, I think. So you have Nick Pope, Dean Henderson, don't even mention Kepa. Uh, you've got Alisson, you've got Leno. De Gea, years ago, would have got it. Loris, he's a wobbler. But I think overall we'll go with... Ooh, I think we'll go with Alisson, since Liverpool have one of the best defences in the league. They can have Alisson in goal, even though he's injured right now and Adrian is playing recently. And then we all have seen how bad Adrian is. But yeah, Alisson's the main goalie. When Alisson's playing, you know, there's there's no... You're not worried that the goalie is going to make a mistake. Even though, you know, every goalie makes a mistake. Alisson, for me, I think is the best goalie in the league. Going on to a right back, I think this is a pretty straightforward decision. But it's kind of how you play your right back. If you want a right back that can go forward, you pick Trent Alexander Arnold. If you want a right back that can't go forward but can defend, you pick Wan Bissaka. But if I was the manager and if what I would want in a right back was to go forward and create chances, so I would pick Trent Alexander Arnold. I think we've seen his assist record over the years has been well over the past two years has been great. He creates a lot of chances. He can decently defend his I think Liverpool fans would admit that his defending is not the best, but he makes up for that massively. So, first centre-back, I think it's pretty obvious. We stick in Van Dijk. There's no, what's it called, explanation. Needed best defender in the world. Should have Maybe should have won the Ballon d'Or. I could have seen a point. So, why he should have won the Ballon d'Or, but there you go. But first centre-back, Van Dijk. I mean, only, I think, one player's dribbled past him this season. So, yeah. It's hard to even get past him in the first place. So yeah, best defender in the world. We'll stick him Van Dijk. The next centre-back I'll put next to him. He's probably one of the Sheffield United defenders. They've defended really, really well. Or you could put Sayanshu from Leicester. Because he's been playing really well as well. Oh, it's very, very tough. It's either one of the Sheff I think I'll go with Sayanshu because Leicester having a season they should not be having. But then so is Sheffield United. But... You know, I think Leicester, they sold Harry Maguire. They didn't spend any money on a replacement. And yeah, they've saved 80 mil and they've had their replacement already ready. And he's been amazing this season. He's been solid and very good defender. Moving on to left back. I think that's pretty straightforward as well. If we're talking about best young left back, we're gonna, I'm going to put in Saka. But then he was, he's not a left back, but he's, yeah. I would put Saka in, but he's not a left back. And if we're going by position, you'd go Robertson. Because Robertson is, again, what Trent does. A little bit less than what Trent does. He doesn't get as much assists, but he goes up and down. He creates chances. He scores goals, because I remember him scoring a goal. I think it was against Villa. So he scores his one goal. And he creates a lot of chances. I And I forgot to mention, Trent scores goals as well. So, yeah. Left back will put in Robertson. Now I think I've just decided that I'm going to go with a 4-3-3. I feel like that's going to just be the best to fit everyone in. So in the three midfield, first I'll put in the easiest one, De Bruyne. Yeah, he, just everyone knows how good De Bruyne is. I think there's no, there's no point in explaining how good he is. He scores goals. He creates chances. He's just too good in midfield. The next midfield I'd put next to him. Kante, the best, I think, best CDM in the league. 
he's so small, but he, he's everywhere. It's very annoying sometimes, especially when you're the team playing against Kante. I bet it would be so annoying. Like, he's just everywhere. Intercepts every ball. Gets everywhere. Next midfield, I'd put next to him. Very tough, actually. You've got Kante and De Bruyne are the obvious ones. Uh, You have a couple of shouts. You have you could put Madison. No, not Madison. You could put Grealish there. You could put Wijnaldum there. You could put... um. Who else could you put? Uh, very tough actually this third midfield position so I think you know what no no I'm not um, so I'm going to go with overall this one has been really solid I don't know but I should have planned this before shouldn't I but you know we'll go with uh, we'll go with Grealish the only reason why we go with Grealish because no one expected him to do so well because even though he's been playing on the left, I've got someone else for the left, and I don't think that will change. So we'll put Grealish in the middle. But yeah, as I've been saying, Grealish has been Villa's best player, arguably, not non arguably, this season. He's literally carried them. And if the season does carry on, and if Villa stay up, it's all Grealish's fault. So yeah, that's the three midfield. Now we go to the front three. We'll save the best till last. So. Right wing, I think Salah. I think that's pretty, pretty you know, non arguable there. Salah, you know, been consistent over the past couple of seasons. You know, you know, scoring goals, creating assists. He's the best right sided player. I don't think I need to say much. Left sided. If we're talking about the best young left sided player, Martinelli, but we're talking about the best overall player. And yeah, we'll give that to Mane. Mane, for me, I know Liverpool fans have like something Salah's better than Mane, something Mane's better. But personally, as a neutral, I think Mane's better than Salah, but that's just my opinion. But yeah, Mane is really good, obviously. He scores goals again, great assists. He always turns up in big games, something that Salah sometimes doesn't do. So most big games, like there's been games this season where Salah hasn't been great, but then there's Mane just there, you know, getting Liverpool out of the stick situation that they sometimes can get themselves in. So yeah, left wing we go with Sergio Mane and striker. I think there's no debate. Some would say Aguero. Don't actually let me rephrase it. Donuts would say Aguero. The masses would say uh, Jamie Vardy. Really stupid people would say Tammy Abraham. But obviously, there's only one striker that can go in there. The thumbnail of this video: the best striker in the Premier League, Arsenal's captain Aubameyang. I don't think there's a better striker in the league. That's the things that he offers. Can any striker offer? Pace, finishing. Yes, he missed one. Obviously, someone mentioned that one chance against Olympiacos. But every striker misses a chance. I'm sure Aguero's missed a chance. I'm sure every striker on planet Earth has missed a chance. But that guy has saved Arsenal more times than he should have. And what I mean by that is we have quality players around us, but they may not have been having like Laka hasn't had the greatest season. Pepe's first season. No one really scores that many goals except Aubameyang. If it weren't for Aubameyang, then yeah, where would Arsenal be? That's why he is the best striker in the world. That's why if the transfer window goes uh, ahead, every Arsenal fan is worried because there is not a team on this planet that wouldn't take Aubameyang up front. So yeah, he is the best striker in the league. I don't want to hear no arguments against that. So that's my team. Just to go over the team again. It's Alisson in goal, Trent Alexander on right back, two centre backs, Sion Chu and Van Dyke, left back Robertson, three midfielders, Kante, De Bruyne, and Grealish, three up front, Mane, Salah, and Abamian. So, if you like this um, this prediction, if you don't agree with this prediction, put your own predictions in the comments below. So, if you like this video, like, subscribe, and peace.